it's not a walkthrough, playthrough, review, anything like that. It's just me playing the game badly, so you can see what it looks like. Okay then, this is Pit Stop by Epix on the ColecoVision. Select number of drivers, one. Difficulty, rookie, yeah, we'll have that. Number of laps, three, whatever. Single race, Monaco. Oh, yeah, this is really going to be Monaco, isn't it? Yay. Okay. I have played Pit Stop on the Commodore 64. And, uh... Actually, it was on that C Commodore 64 DTV thing. And I found it moderately amusing. I know Pit Stop 2 is meant to be better. I don't think Pit Stop 2 is on the ColecoVision. I've never played Pit Stop 2. But whatever, I am... Uh, ooh, yeah, I would have loved this had I had a ColecoVision back in 1980. I think this is 82, this game. I really would have liked this. This plays well. It's all uh, it's all joystick control. I don't think any pit. Where? Oh uh, well, I passed the pit. I probably. I imagine you have to pit at some point in the game, or you run out of fuel. Do you have a position, or is this? I don't know how you score on this. I don't know how you tell if you're doing well or otherwise. Not sure. But obviously I'm passing everyone. <laughs> Oops. I don't know what that counts for, if anything. No idea. Pit. Pit. Okay, I pitted. Cool. What? How? Oh, God. Well, that's clever. God. So much for the two seconds you normally see in uh, modern... Formula One. Yeah. Come on then. Go, please. All right. Well, I'll have enough fuel and tires for the rest of the race, but I don't know. I don't know what, where, where has that put me in the race? I think I was there for about three years. It felt that way. Come on, that's a bit of a tight gap. How am I going to get through that? Like that! What a hero. Driving legend. <clears throat> get, oh, get off. Go, get off. Just move over. No! Get out the bloody way! Well, come on now! Really? This this reminds me of... It was Mansell and... Was it Mansell and Senna? I remember a race where they were wheel to wheel all the way down some straight somewhere. Were they in Austria? I don't remember where they were. Okay. How did I do? Uh, um, cool. Am I driver one? I ain't got a clue. Finished in first. Cool, if that's me. I don't know if it is or not. I'm not a clue. And that's it. Okay then, so it's it's really about... I don't know what it's about. How much you score. And so is it a high score game? Something. Whatever. Uh, I, I like that. That's pretty decent. The way you race is fun. The, the, the pit stop. I mean... Mm, I don't know. I don't know that it's necessary, but it certainly adds something. Maybe detracts in other ways. Interesting. Pit stop. ColecoVision. Mmm. Thank you for watching. Hello. Struggling to get the lighting right in here. That's too bright. I'm too not bright. 
that's not right. Um, today's question for Q and A is from Natasha Folder. Link to her channel down there. Um, question for the channel: What ways, if any, do you take to preserve your hardware collection from age-related degradation? For example, having components recapped, swapping out PSUs, or removing onboard batteries. Yeah, I have to confess, not nearly enough. Uh, I do take out batteries because I know if they leak, they're gonna trash the circuit boards. Um, I've got a uh, Acorn Archimedes, and when I bought that, the battery in it was in a sorry state, and I got that out pretty sharpish. And it still works, so that's good. Or it did last time I tried it, which was quite a long while ago, so I should probably have another go with that sometime. Other than that, no, I've got systems that need work doing. My uh, PC Engine GT needs a recap. Um, I've got a Game Gear that also needs a recap. And they've got the typical sounders gone unless you plug the headphones in thing. Need to get those done. Um, it's it's a question of money and time and inclination. I think the thing is, I buy these things to play, to use, though they're not getting a lot of use while I'm here. Um, I kind of think all of these things are going to degrade. They're not bought as an investment because they're all going to die. Obviously that's the point of getting work done on them, but I'm like... I just don't. I should, but I don't. Really, the the main things that I do to take care of them is I keep them out of sunlight and I keep them covered over. I didn't used to keep them covered over, but now they're covered over to keep the dust off. Um, because, you know, you've got the whole... Um, the yellowing, which I figured was sunlight and oxygen, but since I can't keep the oxygen away from them, I do at least keep the sunlight away. Whether or not it helps, I don't know got my snares out here and it's yellowing and it wasn't I don't recall it having yellowed at all last time I had it out but that was a long while ago so I don't know mm, but that's about it really I don't do anything special I should I know I should but life is complicated and there isn't time and there isn't money and stuff mmm Hope that answers that one. Um, anyone else who has got any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. Uh, all questions are added to the ever-growing list and will get answered in due course. Start your question with 4Q&A so that I know not to just answer in the comments. So this has been a short video and it's been a few days since I uploaded one. And why is that? Short answer, I am a little bit distracted. Actually, that's that's understating the fact. I am very distracted. <laughs> um, those of you who were paying attention will know that I separated from Andrea like back in February. And I've been just getting my head together, really. I won't say sorting my life out, but getting my head together. And I've reached that point. I, I put myself onto a POF, plenty of fish, dating site, free one. Um, it's like everyone goes on POF. So I thought, I'll go on that. I did what you're not meant to do, or what isn't commonly done, and wrote a profile like War and Peace, just because I like to write, and <sighs> there are things I just want to put out there, and, and whatever. It's, it's more of a... Here are a billion reasons you don't want to date me. <laughs> but here are a billion and one reasons you do. Um, and I've been having a blast. Um, I had expected it to just be n nothing, no response. Or, you know, you hear all the horror stories of the kind of just cattle market style thing that goes on on there. I've had none of that. I have had an absolute blast. Haven't met anyone as in physically gone out and, and or anything, but just talking to women on there and every single one I've spoken to, and there are a few, have been absolutely lovely. And so many are just I mean I, I'm I'm looking at women around my age 
and uh, I've not looked in years and I kind of think yeah around 50 you know just you get an image in your head of what to expect and no oh, gorgeous <laughs> so many where I'm just like oh my god she's lovely and talking to them and it's brilliant absolutely awesome so that's what I've been doing <laughs> And I just thought I'd let you in on that. I, I mean, there is a temptation to... Um, I don't know how many of you have been watching, like, Rich Review Tech USA for a long while. But I remember when he used to do update videos of his dating experiences. And we're talking years ago. And yeah, th there's the temptation to, to give a running commentary. Because there is... Y you get an amount of nonsense. There are the... Uh, what is... What, what were the... Dating behaviours, I think, cliched or stereotypical dating behaviours, the things that people do that have been given names, kind of like cheap tactics and strategies and way of just messing people around and whatever. And I kind of keep an eye open for that. And I've encountered one or two, and it amuses me. I'm not, um, I'm not naive to the kind of things that happen. But it's very amusing. But I, I'm, I don't think I'm, I'm not going to do a running commentary. I just wanted to let you know why I've been a little bit quiet for a couple of days. It also explains the uh, the selfies that I bunged up on um, on Twitter and the new profile pictures on Twitter and Facebook because they were I did them for the for to put on POF. But then I thought, well, these are such bloody good photos. I'm going to post them elsewhere as well. Yeah, okay. That's the end of that update. I will try very hard to keep the regular videos coming and not get too distracted. I'm positive that the novelty will wear off. It's just been a very fun couple of days. Mm. Okay, thank you for watching. Patreon? That's not even a word. You've made it up. <laughs>